So uh, awesome. am I getting let go for no reason? All right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. And we got an interesting one today because apparently the girl in this video thought it would be a wise idea to record herself getting fired to, I guess, make the company look bad. Or I don't know what her goal was with this, but this should be a doozy. I'll give my thoughts on the back end. Let's get it popping. Hey, Brittany. Hi. Thanks for meeting with me uh, and Rosie. Um, we have an important meeting today. Uh, we finished our evaluations of 2023 performance. This is where you have not met Cloudflare expectations for performance. We've decided to part ways with you. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. Sure. Um, so I started August 25th. I've been on a three month ramp and then it was three weeks of wait hold up right away i'm seeing red flags and all sorts of indicators as to why she got the boot the fact she cuts them off and says i'm gonna stop you right there um i don't know where y'all come from but that's just rude and disrespectful you don't interrupt people especially in a serious discussion like this close your mouth and use those two ears that god blessed you with and listen and then respond when they're through land sakes this is all bad from the get-go i already know why she got <laughs> oh my goodness i need that again like what are you thinking what is going through your equilibrium when you decide to cut these people off <laughs> not a whole lot clearly not met cloudflare expectations for performance we've decided to part ways with you yeah i'm gonna stop you right there sure. um so i started august 25th i've been on a three-month ramp and then it was three weeks of December and then a week of Christmas. And then here we are. Um, I have had the highest activity amongst my team um, since I've started. I have had three contracts out, done a really great job managing my deals up until the very end that decided not to close last minute. Um, so I don't think that that makes a lot of sense for me in my Cloudflare journey here so far. Wait, what is a ramp? A three month ramp? Like a, a, you know, you're getting used to it, a period of trying to figure things out. You had three contracts in three months, one contract a month, and they fell through at the end, or at least one or two of them fell through, and you don't know what the, the deal is? Activity and success and, you know, progress and value are different things. Activity, just showing up, participation trophies, not a thing. It shouldn't be a thing. So <laughs> this ain't adding up. It is adding up, but what, what's going on in her mind, it, it don't make no sense. Also, um, every single one-on-one -on -one I've had with my manager, every conversation I've had with him, has he has been giving me nothing but... I am doing a great job. I have had great activity. I have really great meetings. He's lying. I'm <laughs> picking up the products very quickly and um, things have been going really, really well. I make really great relationships with my clients. Um, so I disagree that my performance hasn't been, um, I haven't met performance expectations um, when I certainly have just because I haven't closed anything officially. <laughs> Wait, so you disagree because you haven't made the expectations or met or exceeded them, it even came close, even within a shouting distance. Of course you do, but what your bar is, is not the company's bar. So <laughs> what? what is going on here? If you're still failing to close any deals after three months, you're in the wrong business. Take the L, move on, find a different industry, find a different position, something like it's just embarrassing how she thinks that not being able to close a deal after months and months and, and tons of chances to do so, how that would wind up in anything but being canned. Seriously, in what world does not doing your job well equal still having a job? Because if you don't put any value into the business, no matter if it's Cloudflare, if it's Google, whatever it may be, you shouldn't be taking anything out of the business. Nothing in, nothing out. That's how I look at it. Like, this is just nuts. But hey, welcome to 2024. This is the world that we're living in now, folks. Get used to it. I hope you like it. Back up, get, get your popcorn ready and, and take a seat. Enjoy the show. <laughs> this is wild. I hear you. Um, also, you. why are you doing this and not my manager? Not, you know, we've never met. So this seems a little odd that 
my manager has no idea that this has been happening and the director has no idea that this has been happening. So I'm just definitely confused. And um, yeah, I would love like an explanation that makes sense. Just for clarification, you are not being singled out on this. Your peers are also being collectively um, assessed on performance. This is a collective collaboration for Cloudflare. So I just want to clarify that piece. I won't be able to add any kind of specifics on numbers or... Wait, yeah, no. Can you explain for me why Brittany Peach is getting let go? <laughs> Third person talking now. So there's a bunch of y'all. You're not being singled out. There's a bunch of stupidity going on at this company. Oh, Lord, help Cloudflare. These people, they should have just led the whole conversation and, and avoided all of this with, this decision isn't made by us. We're just the messengers. My job is simply to fire you. Fire you. You're fired. So done. Let's move on. Go about our day and <laughs> leave peacefully. You could have avoided this entire awkward, painful discussion. <laughs> the, I won't be able to go into specifics for numbers. Wait, why though? I just started. I've been working extremely hard just because I haven't closed anything that has nothing to do with my performance on a three month ramp with just one month with two ho major holidays in the middle. I don't think that has anything to do with why I should be let go if that makes sense. So I really need an answer and an explanation as to why Brittany Peach is getting let go, not why Cloudflare decided to hire too many people and are now actually realizing that they can't afford this many people and they're letting that go. If that's the real answer, I would rather just you tell me that instead of making up some bullshit and telling me that right before I lose my job. Brittany Peach is getting fired because Brittany Peach can't comprehend that she can't do her job well. She can't do it efficiently. And now she's getting vulgar. So <laughs> from someone that I've never met before. If you can respect that. Yeah, I can totally respect that. And I don't think Dom or myself today is going to give you any clarity or answers. It's going to um, meet the expectations that you're communicating to us. Hardly. So I can't speak to. So uh, am I getting let go for no reason? If you guys can't give me a reason. I'm happy to follow up with you separately to give you the data that was calibrated. I'll need to speak with um, revenue leadership specifically to see if we can get that for you. But Dom and can I can you share not that with me now? <laughs> I cannot share that with you, right? I don't think you want to hear the truth, young lady. Like, the truth is, you suck at this job. You might be phenomenal at other skills. You might have a set of values and, and things you can add to other companies, but this ain't it. I'm sorry, darling, but you stink at this. Try something different or go back to the drawing board and, and put in more time and effort and energy into learning how to sell. Woo! Look at her eyes. Just, <sighs> world has came all the way crumbling down. Avalanche. We can get that for you, but Dom and can I you share that with me now? In our meeting. I cannot share that with you right now, unfortunately. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything we can say in this moment or today, Brittany, that's going to change the way that you feel. And it's under again, like understandable. I'm taking notes and feedback, and we'll circle back. Yeah, I know you did that for me to too. But that's of the meeting. Um, it's not going to change the outcome of the situation today. So it may be best if. We, I do get into more of the specifics of what the next steps are, um, because I think it's clear that you have questions that we cannot give answers to. And if you'd be open to it, I'd love to move into what the next steps are so that you're not um, any further blindsided than you already feel. Okay. Thank you, Dom. Uh, and I'm, again, I'm really sorry that you're having this experience and feeling this way. Awkward. And um, one of the things that we want to confirm is your personal email address because that's where... Um, <laughs> Wait, they want to confirm her personal email address? Is that where you send the, the going away papers, the, the letters to send you out? <laughs> wow. I think it's clear that she's in denial. And I have a heart. I have a soul. I have compassion. This was just, just kind of painful to watch, though. And, and honestly... I got to be transparent. It was more funny than anything. And maybe I'm wrong, but 
This was just a dumb decision that very well could torpedo her entire career and ruin any future chances of getting a decent job, at least in this field, in this realm of, of uh, tech industry. And no company is going to want to hire someone that tries to smear and put them on blast like this. Like common sense should have kicked in at some point and said, hey, don't do this. No bueno. Mayday, mayday. This is not the move. Do not hit record. That little red button, don't press it. This is not the time and the place. But as usual, with these up and coming generations, what used to be common is very rare to stumble across these days. And I blame the parents. I blame these public school systems and they just don't inst instill moral values at all anymore. And they've let this do nothing, lazy entitlement attitude just run wild. And the result is zero accountability and zero value added like we see here. And what's sad is that I don't think this girl is that much younger than me. I'm 28. I don't think she's part of Gen Z. I bet she's at least 24 or 25. So she should know better, but she doesn't. She clearly missed the discipline train. Mommy and daddy failed her. They might not have been married in the same home. She might've grew up single parent. There was obvious indication that some spankings were missed along the way. Now, do I think this is the end for her? No, a at least I hope not. I hope she goes on to thrive someday. I hope so, it whether it's in this field or, or something else. I pray that she gets up out of this. It might be rock bottom, but if you're at rock bottom, you can only go up from here. And as a Christian, I believe in redemption. I believe in second chances, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all of that. If someone didn't murder or rape somebody, and they show true remorse for their past mistakes and the decisions that they've made up to that point, they should be given an opportunity to prove that they've changed. And she'll, of course, have to change, and she'll have to learn some lessons and respect and some skills on how to do that kind of a job if, that she, if that's what she wants to pursue going forward, how to do that more efficiently. But I do pray that she turns it around and doesn't allow this moment to define her entire life. I love me a good comeback story. So although this is self-inflicted, this isn't like some trial some situation that she was placed in. This is her doing. This is something that she'll have to overcome and she'll have to flip the script, but it's always possible. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm just glad that I'm not judged based on all the wrong choices and the shortcomings that I've had in my small, minute amount of time here on earth in the grand scheme of things, as I'm sure many of y'all are as well. And thank God for the ultimate forgiveness in Jesus Christ. So if you haven't yet, I'm talking to her, I'm talking to anybody that's out there, all the obstacles that you may be faced with in life, whether you do them yourself and you place yourself in that situation to where it's highly unlikely that you'll come out of it, you can always come out of it. If you repent and put your faith in Jesus Christ, the Messiah, put him as your Lord and Savior, no matter what you go through in life, it'll all work out in your favor in the end. Amen? So I would love to hear what you guys think about all this. Please drop your comments down below. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my beautiful wife. This one says created with a purpose. It has it on the chest and on the sleeve. It's based on Ephesians 2 verse 10. I like mine a little baggy, so it seems a little extra room to move and groove, but we got all different sizes ranging from itty bitty extra small to big, big and hefty 5X, a bunch of colors, different designs, all of that. I'm sure you can find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love. Outside of that, you can always join the Gibson family here on YouTube and become a member. You can buy me a coffee. You can join the Patreon family. All those links are down below as well. By no means do you have to do any of that. Just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes. I am greatly appreciative. I love y'all. I cannot thank you enough. Until next time, I'll be praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.